all right so let's take a look at the midfielders selected to represent the super eagles at the upcoming afcon qualifiers against guinea bissau please don't forget to like this video and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already thank you very much first we start with alex Iwobi of everton the first midfielder on the list and he currently is more on the wings for his club he was a midfielder a central midfielder during the season for the most part then his coach got sacked frank lampard got sacked new coach is the former coach of burnley sean dice and he has really sent them back to his former position which was more of on the wings he has made 31 appearances in all competitions this season scoring one goal and creating five assists and in the EPL he has 28 appearances with one goal and seven assists now we all know the level of quality that Alex Iwobi brings to the table when you're talking about the Super Eagles but I feel like what is really left right now and what is really needed from him right now is his leadership he needs to bring some leadership to the table he's at the right stage in his career for that and I feel like that's the next step he needs to take he needs to be a leader on this team next we have Frank Onyeka of Brentford also in the EPL plays as a central midfielder and a defensive midfielder for his club and he has made 16 appearances in all competitions this season 14 in the league and grabbed one assist also recently made a return after three months out being injured since his return he has tasted 61 minutes of action as they ease him into a side that has really been overachieving this season now with the Super Eagles, he's been getting a little bit of love lately from Jose Pacero, the head coach, started the match against Algeria, the friendly match, also played in the match against Portugal, came in in the second half, and I really didn't see him do that much wrong in any of those matches, unless you want to count that criminal penalty against Algeria. Next we have Wilfred Ndidi of Leicester City, has played as a defensive midfielder and a center back for his club this season. Speaking of his club, they have not been very good this season in the EPL. Actually, they are fighting relegation as we speak. Honestly, it all started from the beginning of the season. They lost a whole bunch of matches to start the season. They were bottom of the table for a good amount of time. And that was the foundation to what we have right now. Now, Wilfred doesn't go unscathed in this situation because he has definitely not been at his level this season. And to be honest, the performance he had against Portugal in that friendly match was shocking. That first half performance was not anywhere close to the level we know Wilfred and Diddy can be at. Now, that being said, I still feel like the man is a world-class footballer every great player has a period of time where they fall off for a minute but the great ones somehow some way figure a way out to come out of the situation and that's what i expect from wilfred and diddy i'm not gonna drop his rating just because of this season we've seen other great players have situations had in hazard when he was at chelsea had the off season then came back the next season and won the league so i'm not gonna just say oh wilfred and diddy is now trash that's definitely not coming out of my mouth i feel like he's a great player he's going through a down period hopefully he gets out of it sooner than later but i'm definitely not selling this man right now next and last but not least of the midfielders joel rebo of southampton moved to the club before the start of this season i mean preseason went well scored a couple goals in preseason i had a beautiful goal in preseason dribbled like three or four players and Slipped the ball past the goalkeeper. Beautiful goal he scored. And the season he started pretty good with the team. Then things went left real quick. The coach got fired. The next coach got fired. And as of now, he has not been in the squad since the beginning of the year. And we're not talking about being in the starting 11. I'm talking about being in the squad, being able to sit on the bench. So things are really going rough for Joel Rebo right now in Southampton. They are fighting relegation. So there is the risk of falling down to the championship next season. I feel like one of the biggest issues was that he could not claim any of the positions he played as his he has played as a central forward he has played on the wings as a central midfielder as a left midfielder but he just could not cement a spot in any of those positions with that said joe rebo still has made 26 appearances this season in all competitions 
19 appearances in the league, scored two goals also for his team. Honestly, at the end of the day, this is what comes with international football. None is guaranteed. And as you see right here, almost all our midfielders are inactive for their clubs. And what do you do in that situation? Do you just get new midfielders and hope for the best? Or do you continue with the guys that have been tried and tested on the Euro system? So that's the situation Jose Pacero saw himself in and he decided to go with the familiar. I have no problems with the players who got selected, but I would have liked to have a couple more midfielders selected just to have some backup at least. But let me know what you guys think about the midfielders invited. Put it in the comment section and please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank y'all for watching. Peace.